नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम एसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री बेस्ड ऑन यूनिट्स एंड डायमेंशंस द डायमेंशन ऑफ वन अपॉन आर सी वेर आर इज द रेजिस्टेंस एंड सी इज द कपैसिटेंस इज द सेम एज दैट ऑफ करंट चार्ज टाइम एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी नाउ If you know a bit of RC series circuit, okay, then you might also be knowing that the term T by RC is dimensionless. Okay, the term T by RC is dimensionless under the assumption that you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about RC series circuit. Okay, so if if I apply the Kirchhoff's loop rule there, you will get something like this. Okay. e raised to t by r c or e raised to negative t by r c but that's not the point the point is if you know that t by r c is dimensionless you immediately realize what should be the dimension of 1 upon r c right if t by r c is dimensionless then r c must have the dimension of time correct r c must have the dimension of time so what is what should be the dimension of 1 upon r c the dimensions of 1 upon r c should be 1 upon t so it's definitely not current not charge not time but frequency okay so see now option c and d might create some confusion here but you shouldn't be worried too much about it because if t by r c is dimensionless r c must have dimension of time so 1 upon r c should have dimension of frequency in case if you don't know this then how can you solve the problem we know that c is equal to q by v correct and we also know that v is equal to ir okay put this v here put this v here so for for dimensional analysis we can say that c is equal to q by ir right c is equal to q by ir now what do we want we want rc together we want rc together so that is q by i now what is current current is the rate of flow of charge so it's q by t so this is t so 1 upon rc will be 1 upon t that again gives us the same result that the dimension of 1 upon rc is that of 1 upon t or frequency okay so 53rd option b